I know what you're thinking. Chris, how are you gonna go from talking about Danny Cohen to 2020 presidential candidate Andrew Yang? Well, that's just how I roll. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, I try to pull different topics going on in the social sphere to try to see what lessons we can learn. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So it's currently 2019. Next year we will be electing a new president. Something that we should all care about is the presidential elections. I know I have a lot of international viewers as well. And if you are international, let me know down in the comments, like how much do you guys pay attention to the United States presidential election? I know during the last one, there was a lot of stuff going on. I saw a lot of people talking about it on an international level. But anyways, we do need to care, all right? Like, one of the goals of my channel is to kind of just put a spotlight on different things going on, like in, you know, pop culture, TV, you know, music, movies, but also like the elections. Like, we need to look at like what affects our day-to-day -day lives. Now, I know a lot of you, you know, you told me that you have political anxiety, and I found that a lot of it is based on like, you just don't like arguing with people. Like, so let's be cool down in the comments. Like, I just wanna make this video about my initial thoughts on Andrew Yang. So I keep seeing this dude's name pop up, him as well as Pete Buttigieg, I think his name is, and I'm like, who are these dudes, right? And yeah, so part of what I try to do, I try to, I personally try to find candidates that align with my values, things that I care about, right? Or things that I think are uh, an issue that the United States is facing. So I've heard a lot about Andrew Yang and um, a friend was talking to me about him today and I was like, okay, I'll do some research. So the first video I watched was an interview with him on the channel The Root, um, which is an African-American based channel where they talk a lot about uh, issues going on in the African-American community. So I wanted to hear what Andrew Yang's um, uh, views uh, were on the struggles of the African-American community. For those of you who don't know, I'm half African-American. That's something that I care about, right? So as I was watching it, my first impression on that video was he was very agreeable. He's like, oh yeah, reparations, yeah, you know, uh, uh, body cams on cops, yeah, you know, like all these things that he was being asked about. He's like, yeah, 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 right? And I'm like, okay, like, it's easy for a presidential candidate just to say, yes about everything. So something that keeps popping up, like YouTube's like pushing it out to me, is Andrew Yang was just interviewed by Ben Shapiro. So Ben Shapiro is pretty right-leaning and he's very controversial and everything. I'm like, okay, let's see how Andrew Yang handles a conversation with Ben Shapiro. And surprisingly, like he kept cool the whole time, but seemed like they agreed more than they disagreed on, on various issues, which is interesting to me. Um, I do wanna make a video about Ben Shapiro on his views on universal basic income. That is something that Andrew Yang is really pushing. So anyways, like my initial thoughts just after these first two interviews with Andrew Yang that I've seen, like what do I agree with? What do I disagree with? How do I like him as a person from what I can see and all of that? So like, as time goes on, I'll learn more about him, but these are just kind of my first impressions. So if you know more about him and you wanna educate me, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. One of the things is, is like, it seems, it seems that he's less like emotional um, than other people running, which is, it's good and bad. Like one thing um, that I do enjoy about somebody like Bernie Sanders is like you can really see that passion, right? Now, Andrew Yang, something that I've I picked up on very quickly about Andrew Yang is that he talks a lot about things that I'm very passionate about, which are mental health as well as the addiction crisis, specifically opioids in the United States. And as he talks about his views on different um, social and economic issues, a lot of what he says ties back to mental health. That's something that I look for. That's something that I, I care about because just the, the mental health care system in the United States sucks, but I, I look for root causes in things. And something like Andrew Yang is really pushing universal basic income, but also, you know, um, he, he wants to do something where all Americans get an extra $1,000 every single month. And he talks about this and why he wants that. 
And I've done a video in the past about universal basic income and a study that they did up in Canada, which I'm kind of surprised about, like it's not being brought up. Um, something that my beautiful girlfriend mentioned, like maybe that, you know, that study was, you know, debunked maybe, or there were some flaws in it. Maybe that's why he's not referencing it. But anyways, there was a study that they did up in a small town in Canada, maybe like 20 or 30 years ago. Um, but anyways, check that video out on it. But Andrew Yang also brought up that this is something that they've been doing in Alaska for a long time. And Alaska is a very right leaning uh, state, but they've been doing this, but it's a little bit different. I, I believe he said they're getting $1,000 per year where Andrew Yang wants to do it $1,000 per month. But how does this affect like our mental health? Well, when you look at it, like, and this is something that I'm just trying to teach everybody, right? Like, when you look at it, you know, the things that are affecting us, like our stress, our anger issues and all that, a lot of it is money-based, right? Like, I was, I was having a conversation um, with my girlfriend earlier about this, and it's like, how many, how many household fights do you think happen because of money issues, right? Maybe it's stress about paying the bills. Maybe it's a job that a person doesn't like. Maybe it's, you know, whatever, like something that has to do with finances. How many fights do you think are happening? And not even to the extreme of like domestic violence, but just like verbal and emotional abuse. Now, how many ha households with children do you think this happens in, right? Because children are being subject to this too. Like, I would be interested to hear from you guys in the comments down below. In your household, how often is money an issue? You know what I mean? So if, if everybody was getting an extra thousand dollars, maybe it would help lessen the stress. So something I've talked about a million times on my channel is, no, money does not guarantee happiness, but it does decrease stress, okay? So one of the arguments that Ben Shapiro brought up is, you know, this kind of optimist view that if everybody gets an extra thousand dollars, they're gonna do something good with it or they're gonna pursue a hobby or a passion or, you know, something like that. And that's not guaranteed. And it seemed like Andrew Yang, he's very realistic about it. He knows that some people will not do that. Like, for example, I'm a recovering drug addict, okay? I've been clean for six and a half years. I think about if you would have given me an extra thousand dollars a month six and a half years ago, like that would have gone straight to drugs. Just like that's what it would have done. But Anyways, the study that they did up in Canada, what it was is when, when people were getting a universal basic income, it let them be a little bit more, um, uh, you know, choosy about which type of job they would get. Like, they didn't have to get a crappy job, right? Because they had something to fall back on. And what this did was it made employers have better working conditions because right now, I know a lot of you are, are working at the job, a, a job where it's like the, the employer or your boss is like this, like, you know, authoritarian kind of, you know, like, run up this way and this way and this way, right? But when there's more of that kind of balance of power where you don't need that job, it, I can see the argument where it kind of forces employers to do something, like, run businesses a little bit better for the employees, all right? So something else that came up was um, Andrew Yang supports uh, single-payer health care. But he, he does think, you know, if you want private insurance, you can still go ahead and do that. But something that I often think about, too, is, and there's a question for you when it comes back to mental health. How many of you are stressed out or don't get um, the proper health care because of the way our health care system currently is? You have jacked up prescription drug prices, um, really high deductibles, all these different things, and this can add up to stress as well. And something that Andrew Yang talks about, every time I've heard this guy speak so far, he mentions depression, anxiety, and stress, as well as suicide rates, as well as um, the addiction crisis in the United States. So I see that as being something that it seems like it's in the forefront of his mind. And just as somebody who tries to analyze and read people, like seeing him constantly go back to those things, I'm like, okay, it seems like this dude really cares about the root causes. Now, something I hope to learn about him in the future going forward is his ideas of how to make this happen, right? Because right now, in the political landscape, like we, we haven't even gotten down to like the primaries and everything like that. Like you just have, it's very noisy. And you have a bunch of candidates who are just saying things to appease people, to pander to people and everything like that. But when you get somebody like Bernie Sanders, he's been in this game for decades now and he has plans to put things into action. You know what I mean? So that's that's something that I'm looking forward to learning about when it comes to uh, Andrew Yang. And like, as far as like 
political affiliation. Like, like for me, it's just about policies. I don't care what party you're in, what policies are you looking to put into place to make life better for everybody in this country? Like that's pretty much all people want, you know what I mean? So anyways, um, Andrew Yang also has a book out. I'm thinking about reading it, not sure. I'm not sure how political it is or you know, whatever. Like politics isn't something that I'm just like constantly in, but it's something that I try to keep an eye on because like I said at the beginning of this video, it's something that affects all of us. So even if you wanna stay out of political conversations, don't worry, like I'm gonna bring them up like leading into the 2020 election. Like my channel is just about bringing awareness to things that may affect each and every one of us. Me as the person making these videos and you as the viewer, you know what I mean? So anyways, like I said, if you know more about Andrew Yang and his ideas and policies or whatever it is, if you're part of the Yang gang, how cool is that name by the way? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And if you would like to help support the channel, get access to our monthly Q&A and some other perks and benefits, you can click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.